Now, how do we breed corn? Uh, just a simple example, out when you go drive by a cornfield, uh, there's a tassel, which is the male part, and there's an ear, which is the female part, and you see those silks. If you've eaten sweet corn, you've got to pull them out of your teeth. Um, those, those silks receive the, the pollen, and in a natural system or in a farmer's hybrid field, they just sort of flow back and forth. In sorghum, the flower is complete, uh, and so you have uh, the pollination happening right there. That's why most sorghum is self-pollinated. So what we do a little bit differently is we put, uh, essentially, for lack of a better term, a female condom over the, the ear, and then we collect a little pollen in the, in the bag from the tassel, and then we make controlled crosses. So that's how we move to scientific plant breeding. In sorghum, it's a little bit more difficult. We have to find uh, genetically male sterile, or we have to somehow sterilize the ear, and then we do the same thing. We collect pollen from one plant, and we pollinate another one. Okay. Now, why do we do this? Um, and I'm sorry, this isn't really showing up real well, but um, in a traditional cross, you have uh, DNA that's red and DNA that's black, for example, here. And then when we develop a population, we get mosaics of these. So we're mixing up all those genes. So we're finding new combinations of genes and alleles. And that's really what's going to develop these varieties that make things better. So we develop these inbred lines, then we cross and make a hybrid. And then we conduct yield trials, so we plant them out, and we have a, a combine, measure how much yield they have, and you, you use that to find which ones are best, however you define best. Best health, best ecosystem services, best yield, whatever. But here's what most people don't understand. This is a slow process. So even using the most advanced techniques, pushing things as fast as you can, it takes seven years to develop one new variety. And if you look at the difference between these two phones, that's seven years. Right? So in engineering, they can, they can change things really quick, but we're re really re uh, limited by sexual reproduction in, in plants. That's really one of our big limiting factors. Okay? So if we do want to breed for health or for ecosystem services, we better start now so that you have a variety 20 years from now. Right? Or if we want to advance uh, a changing climate, if we want corn to be able to grow in Texas in 30 years, we better start figuring out how we're going to do that now, not the day before we need it. Okay? So plant breeders have to really think long term. 